on this edition of Check 6 Aviation, we go inside. Hey, welcome back, my friend. It's another edition of Airplane Factory version 1.0. As you might see, as you might be able to tell, we've got shingles halfway up right now on both sides, on that side and also on this side. And unfortunately, my helpers are unavailable. And while I can get up on the yeah, on a ladder, I'm not afraid of that. What I am afraid of is falling off of roofs. Uh, go figure, a pilot or a student pilot, kind of afraid of falling off of something. Yeah, actually it's quite, it's actually more common than you might think. Uh, I, I do know pilots that are afraid of getting up on ladders. Uh, so what we're going to do is I have procured some insulation. I have already started insulating the, 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 what I call the back wall. It's really more like the fence wall. Um, and we're going to knock as much of this out before the family drags me away to a party. Thankfully, well, I mean, not really drags me away. You know, I volunteered. You know, because, well, it is family time. And see, I'll, I'll have, when I get to this point, I'll have to move the parts for the plane. Yes, it is here. I so want to get this done. Oh, it's a very exciting time. Get this portion of the build done you know the the workshop so that i can start riveting and making an airplane in this thing um but anyway let's get to it several days later. All right, it's another day and I'm back at it. Spent the last few days after the New Year's kind of getting videos together to get out to you. And so what's on the agenda today? Well, first of all, today we've got a delivery coming from UPS from my good friend Steve over at Aircraft Specialty. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I, have, I know what it's part of the upgrades that I ordered for the RV-10. So what's on the agenda today? Well, you saw me finishing up the moisture barrier inside and I'm going to take a lot of the scrap that I cut because I got insulation that was too wide. So I cut it down and I'm going to be stuffing it into the front facade inside here. But first, I've got some shingles to trim. So let's get to it. All right, now that that's done, I do did notice in the course of getting that done, a couple of things that should be addressed. Like for example here, uh, my, uh, my wife and I did not nail down the ends of this. And with this front side facade being the windward side of the building, um, I'm just concerned that this is going to come and catch uh, a lot of wind and eventually tear off some shingles but so I've got to go and get underneath here nail down close to the edge that's going to be a little bit of a challenge because of you know this this board is like really flexible so that's one of the reasons why my wife had such a hard time up towards the peak and plus I've got to take some of those shingles down there cut off the flap ends and do something that I had forgotten that I needed to do to, at the start of this project, which was lay down a starter course, which that's that should be simple enough to do. All I have to do is just kind of 
uh, put the shingles in upside down, cut the flap you know, with the flaps cut off, and tack them down very carefully, of course. So I did that on the other side, though. But uh, yeah, so that's that's one thing that I've got to take care of. And then after that, it's inside and getting to work. All right, well, now that I've got that done, uh, I did discover that I have more of the same from the front on the rear, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's just a little bit repetitive, so I'm not gonna show it. But uh, sh special shout out, and this is not a paid promotion at all, special shout out to one of my high school classmates, Larry Nichols. If you live around the northern Mississippi or even in, you know, in the middle Mississippi area, I forget exactly where he is, but I know he's in Mississippi, uh, and you need some roofing work done, Check out Nichols Roofing, uh, N-I-C-H-O-L-S, uh, I believe is the name of the, the spelling. But uh, I'll post a link to his Facebook page down below in the description. So you also saw Mr. FedEx come, or not FedEx, Mr. UPS. Sorry, FedEx. Well, you did, you did kind of mess up my crate for the RV-10. Uh, so that is the box that i was expecting today from aircraft specialty i'll do an unboxing video of that later look out for the link uh, i'll put the link to that video up in the up in the upper right corner uh here that will be the very next video that gets published after this one so watch out for that one so let's get back to work All right, friends, lights have gone down outside, so the lights on in here. Let me show you what I've got, what I've done so far. Now, I will go ahead and stop the insulation here after I complete this wall here, because after this, I'm going to do the electrical. I can't do any more on the insulation until after the electrical is done. I mean, yeah, there's some, there might be some spaces on these two walls that I might be able to insulate. Like for example, maybe the, the lower space there uh, and maybe over there, maybe that, that, that corner over there. Um, but outside of that, that's it for the insulation and drywall. I'm not gonna show you everything on the drywall because if you've ever put drywall up before, you know how it goes. Basically, you put it up, cover the holes, uh, tape the seams, spackle over it, sand it down, do it again if, if needed, and then you're ready for paint. But I have all of this done now. All of this done. Now, I will put a moisture barrier over there, and then cut my way out, trim the excess, and that's it. So, thanks for watching. The port, this portion of the Airplane Factory version 1.0 build, and I really appreciate you. Follow us on Instagram, that's where you'll see most of the updates as they happen. It's back on the road tomorrow. When am I coming back? I have no idea, but I'm gonna put this video together, finish putting this video together really quick and schedule it before I go back on the road tomorrow. So right now, let's go ahead and end this thing, and it's in the house for family time. Hmm, I think I'm gonna watch Matrix 3. Probably the best one of them all. I'm not so sure about Matrix 4, but we'll see. Uh, so, that's it, my friends. Until, this until next time, remember this time, and always check your six. Bye for now.